What's up you guys? It's your girl Pixicle and I'm just going to kind of walk you through placing your first trade in your first order. Okay, so let's go to the charts. Let's say you're looking at Euro USD. Now, <clears throat> when you look at Euro USD, a lot of times we refer to that as EU. We just shorten it up. Okay, the spread is really high. It says spread 19. For me, that's really high. You want to look for something real low. If you can get it, you know, under 10 or around five, that's much, much better. The spread is costing you money. Okay. So, but let's say we want to place an order on that anyway. So we're going to click on Euro USD. And for me, I'm on Android, so it might look different if you're on iPhone, but I'm going to put new order. Okay. So let's say I have a penny. It says 0 0.01. That's a penny. Okay. In the markets, that penny's worth 10 cents, you guys. So when you win or lose, it's going to be a lot more than that penny is going to be 10 cents. So keep that in mind or approximately 10 cents. All right. Um, I'm kind of simplifying this for you guys. So if I was just to hit, uh, I don't know, what should we do? Sell, <laughs> right? Boom. That means I just placed an order and I'm negative. I'm in the hole right now. 17 cents. Okay. Let's say I didn't know what I was doing. So I didn't put a stop loss. I didn't put a take profit. What a stop loss is means I'm not willing to lose more than a dollar on this trade. And so I put in a stop loss or, or we don't even count dollars. We count pips, you guys. But this is for the very, very beginners. All right. So what you could do is you go back in. Now, for me, I'm just going to swipe right and that little pencil, I'm going to click on it. And on the left hand side, because I'm selling, right, and because I'm, I sold at like, what, 113 and some change, then I want to bump this up. I want to bump this up to 113, let's say, so it says 14 right now. I'm going to give myself a 30 pip stop loss. So that means 14, 24, 34. So I'm going to change it to 34. That's approximately um, 30 pips is what we call it. So it's 113.14 now, and my stop loss is 113. 34 so i'm willing to lose that much money which will probably end up being what like three dollars um on this trade okay let's say that i think it's going down to 112 and so i put my take profit over here in the green side which if it will let me adjust it okay so i put it to 112 and i think it's going to go to 112 i don't know 80 okay um, of course, you look at all your charts before you do this, and then you hit modify. When you do that, you can now walk away from the trade, or you can babysit the trade. Nine times out of ten, if you're new, you're going to babysit the trade. But so you're just going to you're just going to let it do its thing now, right? And you can look at the charts and see if you made a good decision, a bad decision. Um, typically, you're going to want to start out on your daily and just look at what it did. That one green candle right there is what it did in the past day, okay? Um, here on H4, this is the last four hours, so let's count green candles down. One, two, three, four. That was the last four hours. It's been all moving up, and I just sold it like an idiot. But this is a <laughs> this is a sample video. All right, so we can see here in the past hour, look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. It's been bullish, so it has been going up. So I would have been much better to buy this. <laughs> Should have probably looked at it before the video. But anyways, I sold it. So we're in the hole. And I'm just kind of looking now. I'm on the 15-minute time frame. That's what that uh, M5 stand, or M15 stands for. Those are all minutes. So back to our trade. We're in the hole, 48 cents. <laughs> all right, so that was my sample video. Now let's say you're doing this trade and you're like, okay, 50 cents was your max. And again, once you get advanced, you'll count it as pips. We don't count it as dollars and cents. But let's say you're like, I got to get out of here. I don't want to lose 50 cents, right? Swipe to the right. See that check mark? Click that check mark. And it tells you at the bottom, do you want to close with a loss of 49 cents? And let's say you're like, yes, I do. And you hit close. <clears throat> hit accept, right? Done. And then when you look in your account, you can see you lost 50 cents. Okay? That's it. Love you guys. Happy trading.